Are you learning any foreign languages? Yes. What language are you learning? I am learning Spanish. For how long did you study Spanish? About two months. Can you say something about yourself in Spanish? <laughs> uh, what, what do you mean about myself? I mean, do you mean my name? Yes, please. Mi nombre es Selena. Is there anything else you could say in Spanish? Maybe. I could say... I am eight years old. Take your time. Tengo ocho años. Do you think that a child, having studied the language for this period of time, should be able to say more? If you do, I'm here to tell you that you might be wrong. Okay, please keep an open mind. How can this be? Well, it's a phenomenon that puzzled parents for years. But today, we're going to unlock its mystery and show how you can use it to your child's advantage. Hi, I'm Selena. The silent period is like when I pretend to be asleep so I don't have to clean my room. We are learning just very quietly. Did you know that silence can be one of the most powerful tools in language learning for children? It's true, and it's called the silent period. Today, I will explain why it's so crucial, how it helps our children learn, and how we as parents can support our little linguists. And do stick around all the way through the video, because I will drop a bonus bomb somewhere along the way. And this bonus is a little bit different than what we usually do. It's a little bit more on the physical side. Hi everyone, I'm Bill, Selena's father. I've been teaching languages for over a decade, and I often reassure worried parents about their child's progress. Here's the scoop. It's perfectly normal for kids to absorb a language passively before they start speaking. In fact, scientist Stephen Krashen suggests it's a biological necessity. Think about babies. What do they do for the first two years? They listen and listen and occasionally cry for snacks, <laughs> or I mean, milk. When I was a baby, I didn't speak until I was maybe two and a half years old. But when I did start to speak, I spoke without many mistakes. This silent absorption is a crucial phase in language learning, not just for babies, but for children of all ages learning a new language. Did you know that Einstein didn't speak fluently until he was nine? A little bit later in this video, I'll show you three simple techniques that can make the silent period incredibly productive for your child. But first, we should address something else. Now you might be wondering, Bill, is this silent period the only stage in language learning? Now that's a great question. There are actually five stages of language development. The silent period is just the first step on this uh, linguistic ladder. Let's break it down, shall we? Oh, I love ladders. Can I demonstrate, Daddy? I'm your tour guide through the language learning stages. First, we have my doll. She's at the silent period stage. Shh, she's thinking. Next, here is my neighbor in the early production stage. And you go to school? Yes. Uh, what do you want to do after you finish your school? Do you like to work or you like to go to uh -huh. university? If, if you can choose about job, uh, what do you, what do you uh, like to do? I... Um... T-shirt. Here's me from three years ago in the speech emergence stage. I know you, Daddy. I know you. Right now, I'm in the intermediate proficiency stage. 
And there's Daddy way up in the advanced proficiency stage. That's quite an illustration, Selina. Now, you might be thinking, but Bill, how long should I expect this silent period to last? Again, great question. Let's talk about that. It could last anywhere from a couple of months to a year, give or take, of course. It really depends. How much is your child exposed to the language? The less exposure you have, the longer the silent period could be. But today's bonus gives you access to 10 activities for children in the silent period. So after this video, you'll be all covered. Selena Power! Subscribe! Now, let's focus on how you can support your children through the silent period. But first, I need to provide a little bit of context. Selena is trilingual, but about two months ago, she wanted to learn a new foreign language, Spanish, a language that I don't know. If this is the situation with you and your kid, my best advice is to stay away and let them have fun with the language. Give them the resources they need and let them explore these. If you know the language that your child is trying to learn, you can do several things. Create a low pressure environment. Don't force your child to speak. Let them absorb the language naturally. Provide plenty of input, read books, watch videos, and speak the target language around your child. In addition, you can encourage non-verbal responses. Use gestures and ask yes or no questions that they can answer with a nod. An easy way to support the channel is to go to the three dots at the bottom right of the video. You will see thanks as an option. Even a dollar can make a difference. You know, something that we should do, whether we speak our child's target language or not, is to celebrate small victories. When they do start speaking, even if it's just a word, show your excitement and support. So, I've been learning Spanish with Duolingo for two months now. I don't speak much yet, but I can understand a lot. It's like I'm a secret agent, gathering intelligence before my secret mission. Secret mission. <laughs> that's right, Selena, and that's perfectly okay. Remember, parents, every child learns at their own pace. The silent period is not a setback. It's a crucial part of the journey. Remember that every language learning is a marathon, not a sprint. Embrace the silent period. Provide a supportive environment and watch your child's language skills blossom in their own time. And let us know in the comments, what languages are your children learning right now? And have you seen a silent period with your child? We talked a lot about the silent period today. If your child has already passed on to the next stage, the early production stage, you should definitely check out the bonus game in this video that appears on my left here because it's highly relevant. All that is left for you to do now is go find 10 activities for children in the silent period stage. You'll find them by following a link in the description that leads to our supporting community on Patreon. And who knows, maybe you even become a member. Thank you for watching today. 